Here are solutions to homework set number four for ECE 463-663 Modern Control. This homework looks at Lagrangian dynamics. <clears throat> so the first problem is given a cart and pendulum system, the cart is four kilograms, I've got a one kilogram ball balancing on a stick that's 1.3 meters long. Find the dynamics. So basically push the cart back and forth, and I want to see this guy balance. To do that, I need to come up with the kinetic energy and potential energy for the cart. That's four kilograms. Its coordinates are x and zero. Take the derivative, x dot and zero. Potential energy is mgh, zero. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. With the mass of four kilograms, gives you two x dot squared. So there's the potential energy, kinetic energy of the first mass. The second mass, the ball up here, its coordinate is x plus 1.3 sine theta, y coordinate 1.3 cosine theta. Take the full derivative, I get x dot plus 1.3 cosine theta, theta dot, and minus 1.3 sine theta, theta dot. Potential energy is mgh. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So here's your x squared, here's your y dot squared. Square them, I get x squared, the cosine squared, sine squared terms come into here, and then the, the middle term. One half times two times 1.3 cosine theta, x dot, theta dot. Cosine squared plus sine squared is one, gives you this for the kinetic energy. Putting it all together, the Lagrangian is the total kinetic energy minus the total potential energy. Now, take the full derivative of the partial derivative with respect to x dot minus the partial derivative with respect to x. <coughs> partial derivative with respect to x dot is 5x dot, nothing, 1.3 cosine theta theta dot, nothing. <coughs> Taking the full derivative, 5x double prime and chain rule. Derivative with respect to the second term, derivative with respect to the first term. Gives you minus 1.3 sine theta, theta dot, times theta dot. Gives you theta dot squared. Now in terms of angles. It's the full derivative of the partial derivative with respect to theta dot, minus the partial with respect to theta. Partial derivative with respect to theta dot. Nothing. Uh, there's the theta dot. Here's the theta dot and nothing. Partial with respect to theta. Again, there's no thetas here, no thetas. Here's a theta. Partial is minus sine theta. And here's a theta. Uh, let's see. Now take the full derivative. Gives you theta double prime. Chain rule. With respect to the second term respect to the first term, and distributing the signs. Simplifying, see these terms cancel, here's the torque. So these are the di dynamics for a cart and pendulum system with a mass of four kilograms, the ball mass is one kilogram, length is 1.3 meters. In matrix form, I'll pull all the other terms to the left, so the first equation is 5x double prime, 1.3 cosine theta, theta double prime, is equal to f plus 1.3 sine theta, theta dot squared. So there's the Coriolis forces. The second equation, uh, 1.3 cosine theta, 1.69 theta double prime, is torque, plus 1.3 g sine theta. That's what I use for animation to get the eigenvalues that need to linearize it. So linearize about zero, cosine theta becomes one, sine theta becomes theta, theta dot squared, ignore, gives you this term for the mass matrix. Um, I'm ignoring torque, this times the force. This term goes to zero, and this becomes sine, this becomes theta. Taking the inverse, I get the acceleration in terms of the force and angle. I can put that in state space form. 
So making the states x theta, x dot theta dot. The derivative of the states is derivative of x is the third state. Derivative of theta is the fourth state. And here's where the equations come in, the last two rows. x double prime is 0.25f minus 0.25g times theta. Plug in g, 0.245. Theta double prime is minus 0.1923 times f plus 0.9615g times theta. If I input that into MATLAB, the poles are right here. So this is unstable. That corresponds to a cart with a pendulum going above it. Switch the sign of gravity, and it'll have complex poles. That corresponds to a gantry system with gravity pulling it down. Problem two. Same thing, but for a ball and beam system. So start out with the kinetic energy, potential energy. If I just take the beam, or the position, position the ball is r cosine theta in the x direction. My coordinate is r sine theta. Take the derivative, <coughs> and this is a full derivative, gives you r dot cosine theta minus r sine theta theta dot, and likewise with respect to y. Assuming a solid sphere for the ball, then the kinetic energy is one half j theta squared, or times the rotational energy of the mass. It says it comes up being one fifth mx dot squared. So the potential energy is mgy. Uh, mass is one, so three g r sine theta. <coughs> Kinetic energy is the rotational energy of the beam plus translational energy of the ball plus rotational energy of the ball. Uh, J is 2, so this becomes theta dot squared. M is 3, I think. Yep, M is 3. Gives you 1.5 x dot squared plus y dot squared. And M is 3, 3 fifths, 0.6. Substituting for x dot and y dot, here's x dot squared, y dot squared. Multiply it all out, I get cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Cross terms cancel, conveniently, giving you this for the kinetic energy. Uh, simplifying further, there's the kinetic energy of the system. So, putting it all together, here's your Lagrangian kinetic energy minus potential energy. Um, simplifying a little bit. The force on the ball is the full derivative with respect to the partial derivative with respect to r dot minus the partial derivative with respect to r. That's the force on the ball pushing it along like a cross breeze. Partial with respect to r dot is just this one term. Partial with respect to r, I get two terms here and here. Now take the full derivative, there is one equation. To get the second equation, go with respect to angle. That's the full derivative of the partial derivative with respect to theta dot minus the partial derivative with respect to theta. Partial with respect to theta dot gives you two theta dot. Partial with respect to theta dot, three r squared theta dot, and that's it. Partial with respect to theta, is just the one term. Now take the full derivative, gives you the second derivative, chain rule, derivative with, with respect to the second term, derivative with respect to the first term, distribute the signs. Okay, so there's your dynamics. Putting that in matrix form, pulling all the theta double primes, second derivatives to the left, I get 4.2 r double prime is f, which is 0, bringing these guys left, plus 3r theta dot squared minus 3g sine theta. The second equation, 0 r double prime, 2 plus 3r squared theta double prime is torque, and bring these guys left, minus 6r r dot theta dot minus 3g r cosine theta. If I linearize at one meter, plug in one, I get these dynamics. Again, 
for small angles, zero, zero, sine theta becomes theta, cosine theta becomes one. I can now put that in state space form, make the states r theta, r dot theta dot, derivative of r is the third state, derivative of theta is the fourth state, 4.2, well, r double prime is minus three over 4.2 times g times theta, gives you seven. Theta double prime is minus three g over five times r, and one fifth. So there's your linearized dynamics. If you find the open loop eigenvalues, they're at plus minus 2.5 plus minus j 2.5. And that is homework set number four for 463663. A lot of work, but the nice thing about Lagrangians is it does give you the answer. From now on, we're just going to use these dynamics and try to control them.